Today I am going to do an evening skincare routine. I'm currently wandering around the house, so a completely different setup from usual, but maybe that is fun. So I have just um, had a shower and I'm basically, I need to find somewhere um, to set up the camera to do the evening routine because I need to kind of hold you at an angle where you can see everything and I need to find a mirror so I can apply the products or do it in the viewfinder. So I'm currently kind of in the process of doing that. I'm just going to take you in the bathroom quickly and show you the, um, the, the light on the cleanser that I used. So I used the African Botanics, I look completely green now. Um, I used the African Botanics Baobab Clay Oxygenating Cleanser, which I absolutely love and has nearly run out, which is very, very sad. And I've also been using a product by um, Dr. Barbara Sturm. Now, I'm not actually a, a massive fan of her brand, even though I haven't tried many of the products, because I just feel like they are, I, I, I can't see how she justifies the prices. However, my friend has actually got a couple of the products. She works in the skincare industry. So sometimes she does end up with uh, different products. And there's this one, and I have to admit, I love it. It's the Enzyme Cleanser, and it's basically a powder that you mix with water and then you foam it, it kind of foams up and then you put it in your face on your face and it kind of exfoliates, um, it doesn't strip the skin and I flipping love it. I've got a feeling it is similar to the Dermalogica Microfoliant which I believe is a powder as well so perhaps that's a dupe. I should probably try that again actually and find out because I'm not sure exactly how much the enzyme cleanser is but if it's like any of the other products it's really really expensive but right now I need to find somewhere where I can sit down preferably where my face doesn't look bright green and uh, take you through my skincare routine my evening skincare routine all right so I found a little spot in the spare bedroom you might just hear the planes uh, flying past because the windows open and it's funny you know, I'm staying at a friend's place at the moment and this is in south London and when I can always hear the planes when I'm here and then when I'm at my friend's, other friend's place who lives in west, kind of central west London, um, I can hear the planes there as well. So uh, uh, not very interesting fact. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to use the Pune Kang Yul uh, Essence Toner on my face. Now normally I uh, wouldn't use always use an essence before a retinol, so that's spoiler alert, um, I'm going to use uh, a retinol next, um, because I like to put retinol straight on my skin, but I've got a new retinol to show you, and it's in an oil formula, and I just feel like it needs a little bit of hydration underneath, and then the oil can, I'm going to put a bit more, then the oil can kind of like lock that hydration in. So I'm going to do like two skins of that because my skin needs it. Being a little bit dehydrated, it was quite it's quite oily and then now it's a tiny bit um, dehydrated. It's kind of a bit all over the place at the moment, my skin, and I feel a bit all over the place trying to find an apartment to live in. So um, my skin is obviously uh, following on from my state of mind. <laughs> I'm also going to use the Paula's Choice Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. Now, I want to point, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely eye cream. The only thing I will say is because it is in a pump, there, like, can you see? Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a tiny bit, like, of product that kind of just sits in the pump and it goes like a dark orange so it's basically oxidized uh, vitamin c and retinol because this contains vitamin c and retinol so that's not perfect because you don't want to put oxidized uh, vitamin c or retinol so i have to kind of carefully um just get the first 
oxidized bit off onto my hand and then I can kind of uh, apply the actual fresh eye cream to my eye area. So I'm going to do that as gently as I can so nobody shouts at me for being too aggressive because uh, um, sometimes I am and I never use my ring finger because um, I don't want to. So I basically put it, yeah, all around the orbital bone and I also kind of put it around here where I get like crow's feet as well, where those kind of lines start to form. This is super, super gentle. So if you are worried about putting a retinol type product around your eyes, um, I've found zero, zero irritation with this. Um, it's really nice. It's got a really nice nourishing texture to it. I really like it. I love that it's got vitamin C and retinol in and um, it just feels really, really comfortable and gentle and nourishing and moisturizing around the eye area without being too heavy that it would make my eyes puffy. So now I get to show you the new retinol product that I've been trying. So Medicaid kindly, the PR kindly sent me a few products to try. Now basically, um, Medicaid is a kind of like Cos I think it's a cosmeceutical brand. I think that's what you would call it, like skinceuticals or, yeah, something like that that you would generally see in, uh, like, a facialist's clinic, um, that kind of thing, somewhere where it's more of, like, a professional product rather than something that you would get on the shelves in a department store. Medicaid is a British brand, and they are a sustainable brand. So what that means is they are looking at sustainable options for their packaging. Um, so you should definitely check out their Instagram account. I think it's called Official Medicaid and it's Medic with an eight, but I will uh, put a link to that in the description box. Um, I'm interested in sustainable brands because I think that it's really, really important, especially in the skincare industry. So I'm really happy to hear of a brand like this that comes through that has a little bit more of an ethical focus. And on their Instagram page, they kind of show you some of the things that they're doing in order to be more sustainable. For instance, they have in like the lab where they make their products, you have to kind of weigh the raw materials, like the different ingredients on like a little tray. And before, like most labs, they just use these plastic trays and for health and safety, they just have to throw them away after one use. So that is literally just that plastic tray is going in, they're all going into the bin every single day. So they've managed to kind of find, I think I remember seeing like a bamboo option or something like that, that they were using as a kind of more sustainable alternative, which I thought was really, really good. In terms of the retinol, this is, they say it's a supercharged 0.5 three vitamin A serum. So this has got um, some squalene in and it's also got um, some other essential oils in. So this is a yeah oil-based retinol serum and I really, really like that, but I do feel that I do need to go in with that layer of hydration first. But I've only literally been using this for a week, so I haven't... Um, got like a huge amount of feedback on it. I definitely feel like it's active. It's really, really good. And I've been using it kind of like most um, nights of the week. It's comfortable to use because it's the, only the 0.3%. It's comfortable to use every night in my case. And in addition to this, I've also got a vitamin C that they sent me and an SPF as well, which I'm currently trying out. It's only an SPF 30, but um, yeah, so I need to just try all these things out a little bit more. So if, the, if you want to see a review on either the vitamin C or the SPF or even a routine where I use them, because I use those in the morning, then um, let me know. So I just kind of like press that on to the face. And then what I do is my last step, some of you might think that this is really, really strange, but what I do is with my last step is I just go over with some hyaluronic acid. So obviously this is a yeah oil-based product, so the hyaluronic acid is not going to get 
past the oil but what I like is it's just kind of like sitting on the very top surface of my skin it's not going to do that much it's definitely not an essential part of my routine but I just feel like it kind of like plumps up the very very surface layer kind of on top of the oil but what I usually do is just give it a few minutes for the retinol and the oil to really really soak in and then I apply this one on top and at the moment I'm using the Hadalabo Tokyo lotion number one super hydrator and what this is is it's basically the Hadalabo uh, hyaluronic acid that you can buy from Japan you can get it on yes style and those kind of things but they have um, made a version for the British market which you can get on Amazon and I think that it's similar. They had to just tweak a couple of ingredients to fit in with the EU regulations, but it's pretty much the same. I'm really, really happy with it. And then it's just like all the text on it is in um, English and not Japanese. So I am going to wait like a few minutes for that oil to soak in. And whilst I'm doing that, I can just tell you what I've been doing in terms of my retinol use, you know, for the whole week at the moment. So as I said, this one is gentle enough to use every single day. But now that summer here in the UK is starting to kind of wear off a little bit, I know it's still mid-August, but it's not as hot as it has been in the last months where it was really, really hot. And I didn't want to use a strong retinol because it just it irritates my skin even though I don't go out in the sun just the heat really really irritates my skin if I'm using a really powerful retinol but now it's a bit calmer the weather um, I want to reintroduce the drunk elephant one again which as I've mentioned a million and one times in my other videos it is so 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 strong so what i'm doing at the moment is putting this on my skin once a week because it does have the most amazing results if i just use it like once or twice a week so because the other retinol is super mild i'll put this one in yeah once a week just to kind of give it an extra boost and i used that one last night so what i'm doing with this because it is just such good value for money in this huge 150 ml bottle is I kind of start with like two pumps and I'm like literally just applying this like I put it around my hands and then I just like press it on to the top layers of my skin so as I said before this really is an um a necessary step it's just going right on the top of my skin it's not going to get past the oil necessarily um but I just like it as an extra layer of loveliness but as i said it's definitely not um an essential step in your routine this is kind of soaked into my hands so then i'll just get some more and put it on you know my arms which is really nice and then like the back of my neck like this and i must say i don't really invest that much in my body care I, I'm really really bad um, with my body even when I go out in the day I often don't put SPF on my arms which I know is really 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 bad sometimes I forget sometimes I remember but quite often I forget so my arms that are obviously out in the sun more than things like my legs and the rest of my body they get a little bit neglected and since I've been putting the hyaluronic acid on which I have been doing that on and off for the last few months I'd say maybe a bit longer I noticed it made my skin super super soft so hyaluronic acid is something that we often kind of use in conjunction with lots of other skincare ingredients but just alone when I've used it on my arms I've noticed how different uh, my skin feels it feels so much softer so much smoother so hyaluronic acid on its own is just it's amazing really 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 good so if you're kind of looking to uh, extend your kind of skincare routine to your body you know get something like the Hadalabo where it's in that huge bottle really good value for money and just pop it on your arms and I'm sure that you will see the difference and it's always nice to get a head start before winter arrives and then skin gets you know really dehydrated if you can kind of get yeah a step ahead of that then I think that that's even better so that's it for my evening skincare routine I'm fully aware that every single skincare routine I do ends up being a retinol one so if you would like to see a different kind of skincare routine perhaps 
that's anything but a retinol night, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and put a different routine together for you guys. I hope that you found this video useful and entertaining. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please do and I will see you in the next one.